why are you walking so fast? Because I'm about to be late to class. Why don't you use that teleport? What the hell is that? It's a new iPhone app where you can teleport wherever you want. How much is it? It's only $7,000. $7,000? I mean, I have Pokemon cards at home I can trade, so whatever. How does this even work? It's super easy. Just press where you want to go and enjoy the ride. Whoa, this actually worked. Get down from me. You're gonna get his attention. I teleport. It's so can you. I teleport cannot be responsible for any cause of damage, death, severe injuries, and or missing people. I teleport can lead to common side effects such as nausea, diarrhea, turning into a lizard, loss of head, excess limbs, and multiple thumbs. Use I teleport at your own risk. What's up, BHS? I'm Connor. And I'm Dan. In today's episode, we look into the hubbub about hubs, hang with Dallas the Therapy Dog, and check out some student-designed apparel. We have all this and so much more, so stay tuned to BHN. Juniors and seniors, Wednesday, October 19th, there will be an all Cape College Fair in the Fieldhouse from 3.30 to 5.30. There are a ton of colleges attending. You should definitely be there. This week was Spirit Week for BHS. Tuesday was Red Out, yesterday was Decade Day, and tomorrow is Pink Out. So make sure to wear your pink tomorrow. If you haven't heard, we will be moving to a five-hub system October 17th. That will be approximately 375 students per hub. Each hub will meet during advisory at some point next week. This will give each hub an opportunity to meet together. Check Aspen after next weekend to see what hub you're in. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just checking to see if I'm in one of the new hubs. What are you talking about? They're adding two new hubs, so there'll be five instead of three. I'm geeking out right now. We have new hubs and deans. Actually, they're called associate principals now. Associate principals? Yeah, and it's a good thing. It means less students for hub and more personalized support. Wait, support? Please tell me I don't have a new guidance counselor. No, you don't have to worry about that. Everyone gets to keep their counselor and any counseling services they have. Thank God. When is this happening? October 17th. October 17th? That's in like four days. Don't worry. Any information about changes will be sent to you and your family. And associate principals will be having short meetings with your hubs to connect all of us. Okay, I'm feeling better. But who do I talk to if I have more questions? Just email Ms. Friedman. I gotta go. I'm gonna be late. Later. Speaking of hubs, we have a therapy dog in Hub 2. Stella sat down with Miss Peters and Dallas to learn more. Who is Dallas? Dallas is my personal dog. She is a 19-month-old boxer that I had selected from the breeder in hopes to have her trained as a therapy dog. What's Dallas's purpose, like as a therapy dog? So Dallas's purpose really is just to kind of, um, research shows that dogs and other animals um, help lower people's blood pressure and stress levels. It certainly raises mine at times, but um, so it, the kids seem to really enjoy having her around. They, she loves to be pet. They see we've had a couple of kiddos that have requested Dallas visits, um, either here in the hub office when they've been anxious or other offices. Um, she just kind of goes in and she, some kids sit on the floor with her. Sometimes she puts her head in their lap and they, they just kind of pet her and it helps them kind of relax and calm down a little bit. Who takes care of Dallas? So Dallas, resides at my house with me, so my husband and I care for her when we're at home. Mostly me, because he works more than I do, if that is at all possible. Um, and while I'm here, she's here. She has her own crate, she's got her water bowl. She eats her meals at home, um, so she's an early morning eater and a late night eater. Um, she has a crate, she's got some chew toys. She come in and she plays ball in the courtyard, kind of get out some energy so that she's ready for the kids when they come in. What was the process of getting Dallas like certified? 
like getting her here. So after I got her from the breeder, um, at six months she did a three-week live-in program for basic obedience, and then last um, December we started the therapy training, um, which she did in Yarmouth with the same trainer that she did the, the live-in board program with. Uh, his name is Matt White, and. So we did weekly training sessions for therapy dog training. Really it's about desensitizing them to noises and um, teaching them really how to be around people and not be anxious about being touched and pet and, and such um, from December through the end of March. And in March she received her official therapy license. Last Friday, the field hockey team played their varsity game in honor and memory of Sam Needham. They honored his memory with a moment of silence and raised money to go toward the Sam Needham scholarship. The Barnsville Lacrosse program will also be honoring Sam Needham throughout this year and in the future seasons. They have recreated a BHS lacrosse jersey to honor Sam and raise money for the Sam Needham scholarship. The store is now open and will be accepting orders until October 17th at midnight. This is a one-time offering. In addition, our girls volleyball team recognized another alumni, Olivia Bro, in their annual Dig Yellow game. Here's where you can see our Red Hawks teams on the home field. Today, girls soccer versus Martha's Vineyard at 4. Tomorrow, field hockey plays Falmouth at 345 and football plays Manfield, Mansfield at 6 for our homecoming game. Saturday, boys soccer versus New Bedford at 10. And then next week on Monday, we have girls volleyball versus Sandwich at 4 and field hockey versus Brockton at 630. Tuesday, boys soccer versus sandwich at 4. And Wednesday, field hockey plays Nosset at 6. Thursday, girls soccer versus Nosset at 4.30. As we mentioned, the store is open with many cool things to buy. Molly and Liz sat down with Jake Cajun, who is selling his own apparel there. Hi, my name is Jake Cajun. I'm a senior, and my brand is Solstice Apparel. I normally sell a lot of beachy and like surf style clothes um, and some bracelets. I've had the company for about a year and a half, two years. Uh, I was kind of bored during quarantine and um, I thought it would be a good way to make some money. Uh, you can buy it on our site at solsticeapparel.com and in the hawk's nest from 2207. So to make the bracelets, um, I started out, I reached out to a manufacturer um, we got the 3D model done and everything, and then um, it's all just like little critiques from there. And then they ship it over, and I have them. Um, and for the sweatshirts, um, I used to print them myself in my basement, but now I've, I've moved up to where I can like hire other people to print them for me, um, and they ship them out. So it's kind of hands-free for me. I have, I have a couple of photographers that help me. Um, it's a lot of like mutual friends. So um, a lot of them are in California. So I ship out some stuff to them, um, get all my media done out there. And then um, my manufacturer is also in California. So everything, all of the shirts and the sweatshirts ships out from there. And then they make their way here. So bracelets are $15, shirts like t-shirts are $25, $30 for the long sleeves, and then hoodies are $45 right now. Barnesville High School Council is still looking for one to two community members who are interested in joining the council. The school council meets on a monthly basis. If interested, please email Angie Gabriak at gabriakangela at mybps.us. Don't forget, the homecoming football game is Friday at 6 and the dance is Saturday from 6 to 9 for 9th through 12th grade students. If you miss some of the fall sporting events, don't be worried. Here's Don, Dan Bottolino with Top 10 Sports Plays so far this season. <laughs> I'm Daniel Bottolino and here are your Plays of the Month for September. Starting off with number 10, it's going to be Kaiki Maya from Boys Soccer against Martha's Vineyard. This is one of his three goals of the game right over the keeper. 
At number nine, we head to the field hockey team. As already up 3-0 in their annual pride game. Good passes lead to a Jay Fideli score. At number eight, we have our first football highlight. As it's gonna be Mark Wiseman kicking off the season. Very first play of the season gets on this list. As the ball will take a funny hop and Barnesville will force a fumble. That's Spencer Lavalle, Darren Thomas would pick it up and Barnesville would get at the three. They would eventually score on that. At number seven, it's field hockey again. It's Samantha Marcelli. Already up six nothing in that same pride game. Now up seven. At number six on our list, we have a big kill here from Molly Fredo in the DY game in which they came back from down two sets to one. Big point there. At number five, we head back to the baseball diamond for soccer. A beautiful cross. That would be another goal by Maya. That was big in their game against Brockton. Number four, Danvers and Barnstable, this would end the game. Barnstable only up one point. They steal that set from Danvers. At number three, it's football again, and it's Chevy Shakespeare. I had a bad voice crack on this call, so I'm glad I'm voicing over it. All the way down to the five, Jake Mooney's is Chevy Shakespeare on a big time play. At number two, we head back inside to the main gym in that same Danvers game. And this is going to be a great long volley that is eventually ended with a big spike, a big kill by Barnstable. And at number one, your top play of the month, it's going to be from the football field. As it, you'll see here, Kundo would roll out fire and it's toe tap action by Karan Ford. He would get the feet down and that will do it for our top 10 plays. We will see you next month. The DECA mock trial last week was a success. Over 240 students participated across all grades. They held an award ceremony recognizing the top 10 finishers in each category as well as tests. Last week, Ms. Eastman took a group of students to Residential Construction Career Day where they had a great time getting hands-on experience in the field. If you're looking for a job, check out the job postings on the school website under Quick Links. The Ultimate Frisbee Club and the Senior Class Officers are hosting an Ultimate Frisbee Tournament and Club Fair called The Ultimate Showdown. Funds raised will be used to offset the cost of prom. The showdown will take place on Saturday, October 22nd from 5 to 9 p.m. under the lights on the turf baseball field. The tournament is open to everyone, no matter of skill level. You just need a team of 7 to 10 players, scan the poster, QR code, or talk to Mr. Shea or Luke Andre Sater to sign up. The grand prize is an in-school pizza party provided by Pinocchio Pizza. This event is open to the public to watch. Bring your friends and family. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching, Red Hawks. See you in two weeks for our Halloween episode.